Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick channel update. Basically, I'm not going to be creating content for the next two weeks because I will be on vacation out of town. I'm really sorry about that. Also, um, I changed my video schedule. I'm no longer going to be uploading videos Mondays. I have found that working under a deadline and under pressure causes me to generate less than optimal content. Just That's just how I function. I have two children. One of them is a toddler. I run a household and I run a daycare full time. So I have a lot on my plate and I want to make the best content that I can and I've just found that working under a deadline does not work for me. So I will be uploading videos every week, I promise you that, but it won't necessarily be on the same day. So I hope that that doesn't make too many of you mad and that you can just bear with my haphazard schedule because my number one priority is to make good quality videos in terms of YouTube. Um, so I figure that since I won't be making any content for you, I would suggest uh, a few other YouTubers that you could check out and entertain yourselves with. I'm going to give out a few shout outs. My first shout out is to Elliot Hulse. He is a pretty big YouTuber. He's got a large channel and he is my number one mentor by far. He's actually a men's fitness coach who actually targets men but he also has a channel that gives life advice and just shares wisdom and different ideas and perspectives with his viewers and so many of his videos have just blown my mind, inspired me, and really encouraged me to be the strongest person that I can be. That's actually his slogan is become the strongest version of yourself. So yeah, check out his channel. I will link all the channels below. The second person that I want to do a shout out to is a gentleman named Pimp Monk. I've been watching him for about six months now, I think around there. Pimp Monk has a lot of content and it ranges from serious political opinions to sketches and just videos that are just made to make you laugh. He's very comedic, he's very vulgar, he is brutally honest, and he can be very, very offensive. So if you're sensitive to that kind of content, probably not for you. But if you like being shocked and if you like being entertained by out-of-the-box people, definitely check his channel out. And the last person that I want to give a shout out to is Jared Silva. I found him on Google Plus and he kind of sort of has a vlog style channel, I guess you could say. When I watch his videos, I kind of just feel like I'm sitting at the kitchen table with him, drinking a beer and just talking about random things. That's sort of the feel that I get from his videos. It's a very sort of relaxed kind of aura. But probably the thing that I like the most about his channel is that in a couple of his videos he has gone back and looked at his previous videos and then he shared his reflections about them and about who he thought he was as a person and so through that exercise he demonstrated being self-objective, being able to view himself objectively through the videos that he made in his past. It's just really neat to me because it shows sort of in real time how he grows as a person through making his videos, through the creative process. I just thought that was something really neat to witness. Check these people out and definitely comment and let me know what you think of them. I sort of want to know how you, my subscribers, feel about these channels. I'm really interested in your guys' tastes and what you're interested in. So yeah, let me know what you think. I will link all the channels below in the description. Um, you guys have a wonderful two weeks because I know I sure will and I promise I will be back. Stay happy you guys and take care. Bye! Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about how to make your dreams come true. So this video is going to reveal a very well-known 